How do you see radiation from radioactive things? Did you even know that was possible? Well, it is. And so today we're gonna do an experiment to show you exactly how you can see that. And it all starts with subatomic particles. But what are subatomic particles, you might ask? Subatomic particles are the building blocks of all matter in the universe. They're kind of a big deal. They're smaller than atoms because they make up atoms. Oh, really? The ones you might remember from science class are the proton, neutron, and electron. Most of these particles are already tied up in atoms that make up everything around you, including your car, your dog, and even the computer screen you're watching this video on. However, if you get something that is radioactive and is emitting subatomic particles, well, now you're in luck. And to see these particles in motion, you'd have to make a cloud chamber. Sounds like a mix between a pillow and a torture device, but let's give it a try. Okay, here's what you're gonna need to make your very own at home cloud chamber. An aquarium. Sponges, the plastic bonded epoxy to hold your sponges in place. Black spray paint. Sheet metal, no shine, just black. Alcohol, no, 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 wrong kind of alcohol. You're gonna wanna use 91% isopropyl alcohol. Dry ice. In a small container to hold your cloud chamber and a piece of cardboard to put the dry ice on. Gloves, because we're gonna be handling dry ice. Goggles and a flashlight. This is what you're gonna shine through the vapor to see your subatomic particle. You don't want it to be an LED. We experienced that and it was just too bright and it was too much light. All right, so now it's time to put together our cloud chamber in these easy steps. Step one, add the alcohol to the sponges. Not too much, don't want them to overflow and float away. Step two is putting your dry ice into your holding case, if you will. And again, this stuff is like really dangerous. You don't want to hold on too long. Third step is you're going to add your piece of sheet metal to the top of your dry ice. It's going to make a really crazy sound like this. The last step is you're going to turn your aquarium with the sponges in it upside down. And on your very, very last step, you're going to turn on your flashlight, turn off the lights, and look inside your cloud chamber for subatomic particles. Gather round, children, for a tale of the subatomic particle in our cloud chamber. Well, it's actually more of a horror story on our part. We never found our subatomic particle. So originally, we saw this video online. It was a Nova video about subatomic particles coming from space from dead stars. Well, guess what? We filmed for 40 hours and found nothing. It never comes. It never came. So then we came up with a good idea and said, you know what else emits uh, subatomic particles? Radioactive stuff. Oh, yeah. So where do you get radioactive stuff? Smoke detectors. Smoke detectors have americium in them. And so I ripped apart two separate smoke detectors trying to find a radioactive source to see some sort of subatomic particle inside my cloud chamber. We saw nothing. Don't act like you're cool. You didn't perform. So then I thought, you know what? I'm really gonna up the ante here. <laughs> and I went online and I found radioactive lead 210, which emits both beta particles and alpha particles. So today we will be seeing subatomic particles in this cloud chamber. I got Did it. you? Yeah, I got the fuzz one. Oh, f yes. Oh, just saw one. That was great. Uh, I just saw another oh, one. Oh, yeah, so, so many there are wild. here. Boom! Did you see those streaks? That was like streak galore. Uh, so we definitely have subatomic particles being released from our radioactive source. But then it begs the question, how does a cloud chamber work? The alcohol from the sponge evaporates and turns into a gas. If you smell a sponge of alcohol, this will be very apparent. As the gas falls down the aquarium, it becomes extremely saturated due to the super cold dry ice at the other end. When a charged particle goes through the alcohol vapor, the tiny droplets of vapor becomes electrically charged and attracts to the other tiny droplet next to it creating visible streaks within the chamber. Yeah! So we basically made an at-home Geiger counter. Uh, you can actually see the radiation being released from our radioactive source, our radioactive 
lead 210. Um, I was really excited that it worked and I'd have to say that I didn't come up with this experiment myself. Um, it was suggested to me from my really good friend Zach over at curiosity.com. They have an app and a website that has a lot of really cool science information and a lot of cool information in general. Um, they stream a lot of really fun videos. I could spend hours on their website. And if you guys try this at home, if you try to make your own cloud chamber, let me know how it goes because this was really, really, really difficult for us to make it work. So be really interested in the comment section below. Let me know. And as always, don't forget to subscribe because I love sending you guys really fun videos every week. And I'll see you guys next week.